your business <laughs> or your fiance. There's a huge sacrifice that people don't think about. You know, most people think, oh, I'm going to start a company two months later, it's going to be worth a billion dollars, and I'm going to be, make a fortune. That is actually not what happens to 99% of people. Eight out of 10 fail. They have to do it three times. They spend a decade before they get their hit, or they work at one company for 15 years. Personal sacrifice is huge. There is no soccer game on Saturday. There's no Sunday dinner with the family. You're working because some guy in China or in India or some woman out there is kicking your ass because we're in a global competition now. I don't care what your business is, men, women, you have to understand that you're going into a, 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 a huge lifestyle change. And I tell people it's not for everybody. Don't do it if you don't have the stamina to get kicked around and driven into the ground and get up and do it again and beaten up by people that tell you, and I meet many entrepreneurs that are in tears saying, I can't go on, I haven't seen my significant other in two weeks. It happened to me in a class. I mean, I, I'm not sure how you're gonna take this story, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyways, okay? End of a class, nine at night, 600 people. There's a fellow up at the top, puts up his hand and say, Mr. O'Leary, look, I have to ask you a question. I haven't said anything all class, but I'm really hurting. Can you help me? And I said, what's your problem? Class goes dead silent, because it's not gonna be about business. And he said, today, my fiance came to me and said that I have to make a decision between our relationship and the business. Oh, I'm not Dr. Dr. Phil here, but let's, <laughs> let's hear it. This guy had in his dorm room in undergrad engineering built an online cloud-based compliance tool for hedge funds with under 250 million to help them reduce their costs in subscription service. The guy had a run rate of $5 million. He hadn't even graduated yet. I'm licking my chops at this business. This is fantastic. And then he said, but I have no time. And I never see my fiance and she wants me to come be with the family on Sundays just once. But I'm doing my compliance downloads on Sundays and I have to deal with my customers because I got to be back to class at eight o'clock in the morning on Monday. Now the class is looking at me saying, okay, big guy, what's the answer? I said, everybody, let's be pragmatic. Which is easier to replace? Your business? <laughs> or your fiance. And the shit hit the fan with that. But let me ask you something, let me ask you something. Clearly that match was not right because if you're going to get into a relationship with an entrepreneur, man or woman, it doesn't matter. You have to understand what drives them. I think he made the right decision. But I remember that and it stuck in my mind and I think we really debated that about relationships and how important it is for your partner to understand the journey you're in.